Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a big, bad, and the number one selling Super C's for families for 2021, 2020, and now 2022. This is a 2022 Jayco Seneca Model 37L. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Seneca and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Jayco Seneca. I love Senecas, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good, guys. We are here at RV1 in Tampa. Yes. Back home. Yep. And anytime we get to do a Class C is a good day. Andrea, anytime we do a Super C That's what I mean. is a great C. day. Absolutely. I can't wait to see this. Andrea, neither can I. Let's begin. Model is Jayco Seneca 37L. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 4 inches. This is the Jayco Seneca. It is the Super C. It is the sister product to the all new Integra Coach Accolade 37L. What I do love, you can't really tell, is the seamless fiberglass front cap. That is a windshield right there, Andre. It kind of looks like it's the paint, but that is a front windshield. And this is a seamless fiberglass front cap, which means the seams are actually underneath the bunk over the cab. It's less likely to leak that way. And then Andrea, right here, it does sit on a custom Freightliner chassis. Now this is what's called an S2 RV chassis, which means it, what, what the S2 RV chassis, that's a custom chassis that was designed for motorhome. The reason why is because it slopes down a little bit more. So when you're driving through campgrounds, you don't, you, you have better visibility, okay? Let's pop this hood. America. Wow, look at that. Hell yeah, Andrea. This is America. This is America. Check out what we got going on right here. This is a Cummins ISB 6.7 liter, 330 horsepower Cummins engine, okay? It does have a 2,500 Allison transmission, and this motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds. Isn't this neat? Wow. And what's real nice about this, Andrea, um, rather than other Freightliner truck chassis, is this is made for the RVer. You don't need to climb up everything. You have your oil dipstick, your trans oil, and everything that you need is all within reach. And it's a lightweight hood, so it's easy for anybody wow. to open and close. And then you just go like this, you bring it on down. Hell yeah, now we're trucking. Look at these tires, Andrea, they're the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R22.5, by the way, Next Halloween, I definitely need to be the Michelin man, right? <laughs> I Love think it should be Napa No How. Napa No How. Right here, Andre, we do have these nice chrome mirrors, left side and right side again, truck style. And then look at the door getting in. Wow. This is this is a truck, Andrea. Cargo carrying capacity, 6,436 pounds. Look, you got this handle here, and you get in. This is America. This is the way. This is America. Right here. We do have cameras, left side, right side, and reverse side. Nice door. Also, Jayco does equip it with the J-Ride Premium, which is a computer balance drive shaft system, Kony shocks. This is gonna be one of the best driving Super C's on the market, and this is also Air Ride, so it's really, really nice. Coming on down the side here, we do have a full wall slide out, but I love how they continue to put the awning right there. Andrea, let's take a look at that awning when it's all the way out. And there is a awning over the door, too. Very nice power awning with LED lights. How do you like the pattern underneath? It's cute. Yes. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And a nice TV right there. Oh, wow. Right here, we do have some storage. Carpeted storage. Uh, Aluminum slam latch doors, very nice. Good amount of storage, that's Pass really, through. really nice. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 
they give you a little tray here. Yes, yes. Very nice. Nice tray. Storage on the other side. I love the paint job on these, Andre. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Propane. And if you guys want to see all the specs about this motorhome, bing, right there. There's all the specs. Just so everybody knows, um, this has propane. It's a Seneca. Just like an Accolade has propane. An Accolade XL will be all electric, and a Jayco Seneca Prestige will be all electric. Cool. Just so everybody knows. Is one better than the other? You know, the, you know, it's one of those things, the all electric is better than the propane, but is it really worth the $20,000 upgrade? Not really. I can fit. Each their own. Hey, I can fill my propane for 20 grand. A little bit more storage right there. Okay. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a fiberglass rear cap. So just like the front cap, it actually caps over, making it less likely to get a leak. 12,000 pound hitch. And again, this motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds, but please don't buy this if you're maxing out at 12,000 pounds. That's just not safe. You're good with seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 pounds. Any more than that, guys, weigh your motorhome first. Consult with an expert. Know before you tow. Towing's always very important when it comes to safety. Right here, we do have a nice rear window and a backup camera. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Oh, Matt, look at that. Here we go now. Uh, I hope you stretch. Here we go. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice pebbled one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Satellite dish already on top, line guard digital antenna, and then right here, it does already have solar on the roof. Careful. Here we go. Last step, last step. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Whoa. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Jeez, Matt, look, and there's a curb right there. Dang right. Hey, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Right here, we do have hot water heater. Instant hot tankless water heater. Only oh, an 8,000 diesel generator right there. Very nice. Fill up some of your fuel. Make sure you dump your tanks. Outdoor shower, black gray tank, dump, macerator pump, storage right there, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Finishing up, 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. Yay. I love that. That is so important. This is the other side of the storage. Very nice. Look, it looks like it does have a second uh, gray tank dump. That's where you would dump that. Okay. Very nice. And we got one more thing. Just some of your bag. batteries on a Moride slide out tray. Nice. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Seneca looks great, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. After you, ma'am. Again, we already said the cargo carrying capacity. Okay. Slides is in. Let's see this walkway. Not bad right here. Not bad at all. Opens up right here. Let's see if we can open our fridge. Yep. Let's see if we can open it on this side. Yes, that's great. Okay. And walking through here, there's the bathroom. Walking to the master. It looks like a tilt-a-bed. All right. And then Andrea, before we show everybody the inside, I'm gonna take this moment to quickly thank our sponsor of this episode. U-Steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder. Very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoid sliding and damaging walls. Adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height. And finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U-steps that we have 
make sure you guys check out that video we will link it down in the description below also we have a link to amazon to buy their three ladders thank you so much to you steps for sponsoring this video Andre, now take a look at the motorhome with the slide outs out. It is a huge living room area. Andre, let's get started up here in the cockpit. So uh, first and foremost, let's get this baby turned on. Wow. Hell yeah. Listen to that. Purr. It's a loud cockpit area, everyone. Everybody always complains about gas motorhomes with the noise. This is going to be the loudest cockpit area. But you know what, Andrea? This isn't uh, an annoying loud. This is I'm an American loud. That's you know right. what I'm saying? This is a uh, get out of my way. Uh, you can hear your RPMs. You can hear everything. You do got power windows right here, which you push these buttons and both windows come down. Your auto leveling controls right here. Also, there's your uh, Sony player. You can see your left side, right side, and the reverse side. It does have the Apple CarPlay and everything. Andrea, how do you feel? I love it. It's comfortable. I'm ready, Matt. Let's go trucking. Yes, yes. And actually, you know what? This might not have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It does have Sirius XM and it's Bluetooth. It can still hook up to your phone. I, I don't think it's... Oh, no. Well, no, that's the leveling Apple CarPlay and Android. I don't know about the Sony system, guys. But, um, but again, over here, you got the Freightliner. You know, just really nice. And when somebody gets in your way, Andre, all you got to do is... Beep, beep. Honk the horn. Yeah, just honk that horn. But if they that that Andrea, if somebody's not driving, right? And it's all like, hey, the light's green, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Please go. But if somebody cuts you off, <laughs> you blow that air horn That's and you right. let them go. This is my lane and you better get out of it. <laughs> and then you got your lights and everything right there. And then we do have the Some bunk storage. over the cab. Yes. Let's check this out. Bunk over the cab yes. holds a whopping 750 pounds. Yes, ma'am. And I very like nice. that. They got storage on the side there, yep. Yep. little bins, privacy curtain, okay. and you got that fantastic window right there that has the shade that goes up and down. Yes. And it does come with a ladder. And you do this, you push this down, and then look at how much natural light that's letting in. This is really just making it so much more bright. And when you don't want it, it's down. I love that feature. And also what we were saying about, uh, you know, being in the bunk or the cab in some of these Class C pluses or Cs, um, you have room, like actually you can sit up in it. Yep, you know, I'm five foot five-ish. I got plenty of space, again, 750 pounds. So this can more than support me. This can more than support two you know, heftier size adults. So it's really nice also. You have a privacy curtain right here as well, if needed and everything. And Matt, I'm just going to show this cabinet right here, yeah. which you can hang up your jackets or sweaters. I do like that there is blinds right there on the door. Yes, yes, very nice. And over here in the living room area, first we have your dinette right here. This dinette's nice, it drops down to make a bed. Andre, how do you like the balances? They're okay. Okay, it's not the farmhouse. Daytime shades, privacy shades, very nice. Light right there, it's a nice little square light. This does drop down to make a bed. You got your cup holders here, and it's just a nice little dinette, you know. I think with this size motorhome, this isn't gonna do much for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't see four people, eat, four adults eating here comfortably, but Again, if you have some smaller children, it might work for you. And what is nice is it is solid surface. Yes. And then over here, Andrea, in the living room area, we do have nice cabinetry above. Okay, double struts held open. You know, you can definitely tell it's good quality like right there. Like that light up there too, above the cabinets. Yes. Not to mention the light above the slide, very cute. Yes, the sofa right here. You know, it, it's uh, not a leather type of material, but it's definitely that like water wickening type of material. You got your cup holders there. Looks like this is something. And maybe I'm wrong, it's just extra padding. And then let's see what this does. Okay. We got a pull out. Yes. 
Okay, three seatbelts in this sofa as well. Nice. You know? It's a little uh, full size, it looks like, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. it's about full size. Not quite, definitely not a queen. But good for one person, possibly two skinnier people that love each other. <laughs> but very nice, easy to set up, easy to break down. That's what it's all about. And then over there against the wall, show what you see, Andrea. I see the humongous TV with soundbar. There is also some cabinets up here. Okay, cabinets. And uh, I don't know, that TV might swivel it out. It does, it okay, does. That's good, because I think it would need to. Be careful. Okay, that's good. So at least it will turn. Yes, that's good. And underneath you have the fireplace. Yes, ma'am. Fireplace storage, backsplash there. Very cute. Very nice. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. 296,925 dollars, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, as you guys know, it's a current 2022 model year, so we're not advertising sale price right now, but Andrea, I know we'll be able to get you a lot better price than that because we have now partnered with RVR, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a Jayco dealership close to you. And with our buying power, we'll be able to get you the absolute best price in America. If you're interested in buying one of these, just go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form. I will then personally get you with somebody from my team in the closest region to you to help get you the best price in America. Or if you're not ready to buy, not a problem, still go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that second or third contact tab. That sends me an email and I'm here to help you answer whatever questions you have before you're ready to make a purchase decision. Let's continue the video. Okay, guys, look at this kitchen. Yes. All right, I'm gonna start up here. Nice cabinets with the shelf. Yes. I love this big window. Look at this. Okay, See? okay. We do have daytime and privacy shades here. Yes, ma'am. There is a uh, cabinet right there. You can okay. Put spices there. Yes. Nice solid surface countertop. Very okay. Pretty. We've got a residential style sink with an extension. Very nice. And. We've got a cabinet down here. Show it, ma'am. Good Very job. Very nice. Underneath here, nice space. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry I missed it. Very good. Very cute. And above here, we have another cabinet with shelf. Over here, we have three drawers. Did you show that? I did. Oh, nice. And the convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Very size. nice. Okay, there's another one of these little cabinets. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, a two burner um, Furion induction cooktop. Okay, okay. And a nice big drawer. Nice. And then we've got the residential Whirlpool refrigerator that runs off your inverter. Very nice, and it's freezing cold already. It is, that's crazy. That's awesome. I haven't awesome. had it on that long. And here is the pantry. Wow. I love these. You have two of them here. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. Plenty of space panel there yes this is uh your control panel it operates your slide outs your batteries your air conditioning your lights and everything all that you would need now before we show you the bathroom andrea i do want to focus on these bunk beds this is the reason why people want a 37 l nice big window and big window everybody has their own little light everybody has their own tv right here everybody has their own privacy curtain yes right here you know what i'm saying i mean I'm 5'5 five, five ish, you know, and, and it works for me. Any, you know, probably up to 5'10 it works. Any longer than that, they're going to be in the uh, so you got two feet tower position. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Drawers underneath there. And then over here in the bathroom. Wow, look at what they're doing in here. I like the that bathroom's like a door. But, but the bathroom's yes. like a totally different it's look. It's pretty with the white. I like I that. I like that. And look at the vanity lights above there. Very cute. Mm. Matt's going into the shower. Nice Very big shower. It's a nice right. 30 by 36 shower, Andrea. Okay. Really nice. Show and everybody that. Look at this. Big medicine cabinet. I like that. I like that you have some space over here. I like that Solid too. surface. I love the rectangle sinks. They're my favorite. Very cute. We have a cabinet under here. Mm -hmm. And then more space over here. Andrea, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Here we go now. Porcelain, 
Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Oh, but wait. Hang on, Jen. Take that away. No. Come here, Andrea. Yes. Uh-oh. What the heck is that? That can come off, though. So when it's off, it's prime poop position. But Andrea, is it on or is it off right now? It's on. So that means prime poop position is null and void. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, there's all this space over here. Again, easy fix, take this off, prime poop position. But for this video, eh, null and void. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going into the master. Yes. We have a pocket door. Yes. Wow, combo washer dryer Yay. already installed. Very nice feature. Nice drawers here. Andrea. Very spacious bedroom area. Absolutely, I and agree. This bed does tilt up, which would give you even more space. Oh, storage. good. There's storage behind there. Yes, ma'am. Right there. Tons There's of good your stuff. wardrobe. Absolutely. Let me see. Wow. Okay. Huge. Huge. Right and there. And then over here we have the. Um, okay, we got a window and we got Love a king window. size bed. Yes, ma'am. With the uh, nail head. Headboard. How do you like that? It's it's cute. Okay. Uh, we've got cabinets up here. Yes. And I do like that there is nightstands, I believe, on both sides. Yep, there's yes. one over here. And then there's a cabinet here. Do you have a cabinet on that side yeah, too? Yeah, like a little door over okay. one. Okay. Well, this is strange. I don't see that a lot. So so it's because the bed does tilt up. And the bed needs to be tilted up for the slide out to come in. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Jayco Seneca. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. I was hoping you wouldn't say that <laughs> because, oh no, I'm glad you said that because I got to think of the dislikes. So let's do three things we like about it. Andrea, I will go first. Okay. For a motorhome, for a bunkhouse motorhome, the amount of space in here is absolutely fantastic and I love this. This is huge, this is nice, it's fantastic. And you don't get this type of space when you want a bunkhouse motorhome. That's number one. Andrea, do you have number two? I do. Talk to me. Okay, I was gonna say, I really do like the uh, the white in here. I think it's really cute how they yes. did that. Yes, I would almost say I dislike that. Do you know why? Why? Because I rather have this bathroom before I, in the whole RV. Me too. <laughs> right, but I don't know what they did here or why they changed the wood color. But I love what's going I, I, on in there. I think it looks great. I think that looks fantastic. And again, I can almost see that as a dislike because you don't want your bathroom to look better than your kitchen. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that looks fantastic. And then Andre, number three, I am going to say the kitchen. Do you notice there's no backsplash? I do. It's because it's a whole window and I love that. I love that big window. Andre, you say, you're shaking your head no? Mm -hmm. Why are you shaking your head no? I, I, that's one of my dislikes. Oh, well, but we'll, we'll, we'll agree to disagree. We'll give you that moment in a second. <laughs> I love the huge window. I love the solid surface countertops. And again, for a bunkhouse motorhome, you actually have a lot of kitchen space, which I love. So that's three things we love about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And um, don't contradict me now. Okay. Guys, my dislike is I don't like this around here. Andrea, I you're now contradicting me. <laughs> I, I think it needs color. I much would rather have backsplash to add some color so it doesn't seem so dark. So that's my dislike and I'm sticking to it. And I do have a number two, Matt. Andrea, <laughs> if you contradict another one of my contradictions, I'm we're gonna not. have we're gonna have some we're, we're we're gonna go need to see a counselor tonight. Okay, we have What's to go, number two? We have to go behind. We have to go back here. I, mean, I don't like this. Um, Why? I am very clumsy myself. And I could see myself walking into it, hurting myself, bumping yep. it. When I make the bed, uh, trust me, I'm always, uh, I'm accident prone. Yep. This would not be good for me. So that's my dislike. I'm sticking to it. Okay. Um, I've never seen that before. So. But Andrea, I can at least agree with you on that one. Okay. So that's two things we dislike. Andrea, number three is... The bunk beds. Well, it is the bunk beds, but... We're gonna do four. We're gonna do four dislikes and four things we like about it, okay? okay? So number three thing we dislike is the bunk beds. Always, always, it's a rule, it's the way of life. If the bunk beds don't flip up and come 
a wardrobe space, we don't like that. Again, it's very easy to make two little slits so it can flip up to become wardrobe space. Good for wardrobe or doll crates or whatever. That's dislike number three. And then Andrea, dislike number four is the TV position to the sofa. Never like that, don't like turning my head, even though it's a big TV, even though it does have a swivel bracket, I don't like that head position. Great, so that's four things, three things we like about it, four things we don't like about it. Andrea, we're gonna wrap it up with one more thing we love about awesome. it. Awesome. And of course, we gotta give it its due appreciation to the engine. Yes. Andrea, final thing we love about this motorhome is this awesome kick-ass S2 RV chassis. Again, this was a chassis developed by Freightliner for motorhomes. It's not the big M4, it's not super duper. It's good for RVers, it gets the job done. And with this slight elevation, or not elevation, but the slight incline, it makes it so when you are driving around the campsite, you can see the kids that are running in front of you. Easier. You still always gotta be careful. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Jayco Seneca. If you guys are interested in buying this motorhome, again, go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab. We've now partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter where you live in the country, Andrea, we'll find one of these close to you and we'll help you get the best price in America. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Jayco does read the comments, you guys, so they are interested to see what you have to say. Um, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Yes, and thank you to RV1 of Tampa yes, for letting us be you, here today. Yes, thank you, RV1. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.